I'm using green, sap green, and phthalo green. I'm also using black up here in the dark area where the bird is. And I'm using white. And I'm just dabbing in this color. And it looks like I need a lighter color there, so I'm just going to add white. We're doing the background before we do anything else. There's even some yellow in here, so I'm using the, oh gosh, I forgot the color, the name of this color. I'll go look it up and tell you later. So I'm going to use that here. And then with this brush, which is like a mop brush, this is what you do. You just tap it to blend it all together. Just tap it around. And that gives it sort of a blended background if you wanted to add more color into that area you just tap it in there if you need to clean your brush off clean the paint off dry it really well with a towel just kind of squish the water out and then add your lighter color to whatever area you want to add it to. After you use a dark brush, you're going to want to do that. To fill in smaller spaces, just use a regular square small brush and just tap it in like that or if you wanted to take some paint off and make it lighter like it's lighter on the picture so I'm going to take the paint off a little bit by just dabbing it the smaller brush in that area hopefully you can hear me if you are having a hard time blending it just get a little spray bottle of water and just spray directly on the canvas and that'll loosen up that paint enough for you to go through and blend it better. Also, don't forget to get your sides and your corners. If your colors are not coming through the way you want to, let it dry for a bit and then come back and work in your dark colors and then let that dry and then work in your light colors like the yellow over here and I have a little bit of purple over here.